Yeah, I mean, you're really into it. Let's have a look at the T-shirt that you're representing right now, the uh, John Brayford <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with your own yes. slogan. <laughs> so, exactly. Not, uh, you know, some people regard it as my great folly. <laughs> I've described, I've described, I love John Brayford, right? But We uh, love John Brayford. I, I loved what I, the thing is about that transaction, of course, is that that transaction was done the way all the other transactions were by the front line, by the front office and touchline management. And I didn't um, do anything but say, I love John Brayford. <laughs> and yet everyone associates you with that transfer, a transfer that, let's be honest, all us blades wanted to happen at the time it happened. So I don't think anyone could call that folly. Yeah. And it did, it didn't work out. Right. Um, the way that everyone wanted. But one thing that was true was that uh, John gave up a great deal of weekly value <laughs> to come join us, you know, and uh, and he um, and he gave his heart. It's there was an unfortunate series of events. He got injured. He got played out of position for most of the time he was with us on contract, you know, as our own player. And we didn't get a, really a chance to see the John Brayford who had. Uh, who had been with us on the loan spell um, just because of, you know, the, the defense was broken and it never got addressed under Nigel Clough and it never got addressed um, under uh, his, uh, under the other Nigel. And <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but it just didn't get addressed. And so, um, you know, John got ended up getting played out of position and I, I don't think he was, uh, um, I don't think he made that transition. He's not really built for that other job. And um, anyway, he, he, then he was, then he got really seriously injured and it was, it was just went poorly, but what a great guy and a uh, person who, who like me felt sort of instantly in love with Sheffield and the way our fans operate. Just he did love Sheffield, the city. Yeah. He, he told us that we had him of course on the channel yeah. and uh, he said his favorite time was, was playing at Bramall Lane, which is incredible when you think that he didn't actually make that many appearances for us when you compare it with teams like Derby and Burton Albion. He also said, if people haven't watched that video, do check it out, but I will just leave, leave you with one thought. Uh, he said that he would have liked to have played in that three where Chris Basham ended up playing as Chris Wilder took over and we converted to that three at the back with the two wing backs. He didn't want to be a right wing back. He wanted to be a centre back and he wanted to play just on that right hand side. Of course, Basham did rather well there, but it would have been interesting to see what John Brayford could have done in that setup. Yeah. And of course he had the, he came by the time uh, Chris Wilder came uh, the wage he was, he was, he came to us at a great lot personal loss to himself, but in terms of our wage structure, then in league one, he was pricey still. And mm -hmm. so that, um, that, it, you know, when you're the uh, pricey ticket, and you're looking to to sort of uh, create a squad with limited resources. Uh, you're you're in, you're in some danger, you know, yeah. being <laughs> being the first to go. And I so I I felt like uh, it didn't work for John like John wanted it to work, or like yeah. any of the rest of us wanted it to work. And I I uh, have nothing but respect for the guy. So yeah, and I still think he's not just the, he's not just any uh, fallback. No, he's also a Viking these days. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen his beard. Wow. It's impressive. 